We've already studied atomic radius. Now let's look at ionic radius. You'll recall that an ion is an atom that has lost or gained an electron. A cation is always smaller than the parent atom. Remember the cation is a positive ion. Let's use lithium as an example. When lithium forms an ion, it loses an electron. If lithium gets rid of an electron, it's getting rid of something negative, so it's left with a positive charge. If you look at lithium on the periodic table, it has three protons, and if it's neutral, it also has three electrons. When lithium forms an ion, remember, it loses an electron. So now it has three positives and two negatives. The ratio here is one to one. The ratio here is greater than one to one. So now instead of three electrons being pulled in by three protons, we only have two electrons being pulled in by three protons. So now each one of these electrons experiences a greater pull. Additionally, you know that electrons tend to repel each other and would need some type of space. If there's less electrons, they simply require less space. Here's a little picture example. Here's lithium atom, and here's the lithium ion. So a cation is always smaller than the parent atom. You don't need to know these. Here's just uh, some sample measurements. This is just a rough estimation of the size of lithium and lithium ion. So lithium's electrons now experience a greater effective nuclear charge and less electron repulsion. Thus, the electrons are pulled in tighter. Let's look at another example. An anion is always larger than the parent atom. Remember, an anion is a negative ion. Let's use fluorine as an example. The way that fluorine gets a negative charge is by gaining an electron. If you gain negative stuff, you become negative. So this is fluoride. It's an anion. Fluorine has nine protons and nine electrons. When fluorine becomes fluoride, it gains one extra electron. So these nine electrons are being pulled in by nine protons. But now we have ten electrons that have to share the pull from these nine protons. Additionally, adding an extra electron creates more repulsion because you know that electrons repel. And because they repel each other, they'll take up more space. Here's a little cartoon illustration showing that an anion is always larger than the parent atom. Fluorine's electron now experiences less effective nuclear charge per electron and more electron repulsion. Thus, the radius increases.